ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today we're talking about Ryzen 3000, or Zen 2, some more leaks about it. And this is basically confirming a lot of what we kind of already knew or we, we were already guessing about it, but it's good to know that a lot of sources are all kind of saying the same thing, which should give us a better idea on what the actual specs of these CPUs will be. So this is from a WCCF Tech, and they wrote about a Singaporean retailer which put up the pricing, and of course a Russian retailer back in January did the same thing. So it's looking like we're getting a better idea on where the pricing will be. Uh, it's 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 looking pretty good. I mean, I'm I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's it's pretty awesome. <laughs> so let's read the article. Okay. Based on the Singaporean retailer's listings via Tom's Hardware, it looks like AMD is allegedly going to offer at least 10 Ryzen 3000 CPUs. Just like last time, we have the Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, and the new Ryzen 9 parts, which are mentioned here. So if you've been living under a rock or you just don't know, Zen 2 is going to be 7 nanometer. There's obviously going to be good IPC gains, which go along with that. And it's very hyped up. A lot of people are looking forward to it. So let's check out some of the specs and the pricing. Now that it's looking like this is becoming more confirmed, I would say. When you have a lot of sources telling you the same thing, we had Jim's video, Jim Adored TV, and then you've had these other leaks as well. They're all kind of pointing in the same direction, which is usually good news. So let's take a look and we'll work from the bottom up with the little Ryzen 3s. So you have the 3300 there, which is a six core, 12 thread CPU, 3.2 base clock, 4.0 boost clock, 50 watt TDP, 110 US price. So that's gonna be the entry level one. Then there's the 3300G. Again, a six core, 12 thread, three gigahertz on the base, 3.8 on the top there on the boost, a 65 watt TDP, and it's coming with some onboard graphics, Navi 15, uh, so 960 stream processes there, and that'll be 145 US dollars. Then up a little bit more, we have the 3300X, six core again, 3.5 on the base, 4.3 on the boost, so a bit higher, 65 watt TDP, 145 US. So that's your Ryzen 3, so that's your entry level CPU, so it's the ones to get you in the door there. I would say out of those three looking at them, uh, that 3300 is going to be quite a good one for a lot of people that are just looking to build a gaming PC. I mean, it gets them a six core on the entry level. That's good. And the clock speeds are fine. You have four gigahertz on the boost. That's, that's fine. I mean, years ago, I mean, we were getting like dual cores uh, on the entry level stuff. Um, not even that long ago, you know, so, so this is really good. I, I, I appreciate what AMD is doing, and I think 110 US is, is a price that I think most people can definitely afford. Then going up, we have the Ryzen 5s. So these go up to eight cores. So you have the 3600, which is eight core, 16 threads, 3.6 base, 4.4 on the boost, 65 watt TDP again, 200 US. That's pretty good, 200 US for uh, a seven nanometer eight core, which goes up to 4.4 gigahertz out of the box. That's pretty good. But then there's the 3600G, which is again an 8-core, 3.2 base, 4.0 uh, boost, 95-watt TDP, and this is coming with a Navi 20 uh, with 1,280 stream processors for 225 US. Wow. That thing's going to be pretty powerful. <laughs> I think, yeah, that's going to be definitely a great value CPU, 225. That's a lot that you're getting for your money. And then of course there's the 3600X, which will be the top of the Ryzen 5s. Uh, it's coming with a four gigahertz base clock, 4.8 on the boost, 95 watt TDP, coming in at 258 US dollars. That's a pretty damn good deal. 250 US for a 4.8 gigahertz eight core. I mean, think about it, the, the 9900K right now from Intel, the i9-9900K, that's an eight core 16 thread CPU. 5 gigahertz boost clock, 4.7 on the base. And how much more expensive is that? So this is looking pretty good. That's a lot of value there. Then of course we go up to the Ryzen 7s. Now these jump up to 12, 12 cores. This is something I predicted and you guys will call me crazy, but you know, whatever, here we are. <laughs> so the 3700, uh, 12 core, 24 threads, 
3.8 gigahertz on the base there 4.6 on the boost 95 watt tdp 335 us that's decent sure um of course the pricing is it's a bit of a leap there over the ryzen 5s but that's to be expected and yeah i think that's pretty good then we have the 3700x which is the same core count thread count uh just the clock speeds are up 4.2 on the base 5 gigahertz on the boost uh tdp is obviously up as well 105 and that's coming in at 370 i would say those those ryzen 7s i'll put it this way i feel personally they're in a little bit of an awkward spot because not not i'm not saying they're going to be bad or people won't buy them i just see it as a little bit awkward as i think a lot of gamers will trend towards the ryzen 3 ryzen 5s especially the fact that there are six cores and eight cores which is mostly what you need for most games and then i think that most uh people looking to do use them for productivity reasons or do gaming and productivity like what i do will probably just skip over the ryzen 7s and use the ryzen 9s which i'll talk about now so the ryzen 9 3800x that's a 16 core 32 thread 3.9 on the base 4.7 on the boost 125 watt tp 505 us dollars so that's obviously a big jump up there in price and then of course the big daddy the 3850x 16 core 32 threads 4.3 on the base 5.1 on the boost 135 watt tdp and that's coming in at 560 us dollars which is a lot of money there so with that in mind you might think well kevin that's that's crazy the, the ryzen 7s are so much cheaper when a lot of people go for them sure i think they they still might i would say that many people when it comes to productivity pcs or if they're just doing straight productivity or they're doing productivity and gaming like a lot of us tech youtubers do they're less likely to be they're usually more likely to spend more money put it that way price is less of a factor than usually gamers who are just buying the cpu just for gaming they're usually more money conscious so i would say with that in mind i would i feel like the ryzen 7s are in a little bit of an awkward place because the gamers will go for the ryzen 3s ryzen 5s and the productivity guys will go for these ryzen 9s uh so especially with those clock speeds those will be ridiculous 16 cores wow geez this is that's going to be very very good for productivity uh so yeah this is looking quite good i mean i'm sure the ryzen 7s are still going to be solid cpus that's just my personal feeling anyway i mean you guys are welcome to leave your opinions in the comment section i'd love to know what you guys think now of course they're coming with the new chipset the x570 we've spoken about this more before uh, there's not a huge amount to go off right now i wouldn't say this is going to be a huge upgrade over x470 i will say if it comes with pcie 4.0 that will be quite good but i expect these cpus will also work with your x470 and x370 motherboards also so if you already have an x470 x370 they should work with it although uh, i'm not sure how well they will work especially those bigger ones the the ryzen 3s and ryzen 5s will be fine but those ryzen 7s and ryzen 9s uh, it'll be interesting to see how they work i imagine they should still work just fine with them but maybe the clock speeds will be a little bit down and i would imagine overclocking would be out of the question unless you have a very very high-end model of motherboard for them uh that's just my personal prediction because that's what we've seen with threadripper uh so that's what i would expect here but as always i want to throw it to you guys what do you think with this pricing now looking like it's i don't want to use the word confirm but it's it's looking like this is what it's going to be there's always going to be changes and stuff like that but to me this seems like it would be fitting more or less it might go up a little bit down a little bit but i think this is in the right ballpark so i want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below what do you think about this pricing do you think it's correct do you think it's good and out of these cpus which one is the one you're really keeping your eye on if you're going to plan to buy one of these which one would you go for personally I would go for one of the Ryzen 9s. Um, probably the the Big Daddy, the 3850X. For me, uh, the rendering, because I do it all the time, I need it, I need the power, and of course, who doesn't want the best, you know? It's it's just fun. It's, it's fun being an enthusiast, you want the most powerful parts, and especially since I can use them as well. Uh, so yeah, that's the one I would be keeping my eye on, but I wanna know what you guys think, so let me know in the comment section down below. Now, I thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.